I'm not a willful contrarian, although I admit I can do a pretty good impression of one. I am, after all, the YouTube atheist who denies that atheism is a simple lack of belief, and whose methodological naturalism is, well, provisional, in contravention of Aaron Ra's first foundational falsehood and the historic Kitzmiller Dover ruling. I also deny the correspondence theory of truth, which is what this video is about. <laughs> The correspondence theory goes something like this. Put simply, any truth bearer is true when and only when there is a state of affairs to which it corresponds. You can watch my previous video here on what I think truth bearers are. A real state of affairs, meanwhile, is the way things are. Correspondence is a relationship wherein two things are similar, either in outline or in detail. The problem is that if X and S are only similar in outline, it seems possible that an X can be true without clear correspondence to a particular S. We may truly say, for example, that Dr. Spock worked on the Starship Enterprise, that murder is wrong, or that 2 plus 2 equals 4, even though it's hard to identify the real states, if any, to which these truth bearers correspond. There is also a problem if we are talking in terms of outlines as to how semantic things like X can be similar to ontological things like S. Both these problems, if unresolved, leave the correspondence definition too weak. These obstacles are usually overcome by claiming that X and S are similar in detail, as in when the structure of X pictures or maps the structure of S. This allows for the reduction and multiple realizability required to solve the first problem, or the non-cognitivism, errantism, or realism, depending on your preference. It can also, via a topology of salient points, clarify the similarity between a semantic X and an ontological S. This solution comes at a cost, however. It's been generally acknowledged since Kant that our grasp of reality as it really is, is at best speculative and incomplete. We can, I think, do better than mere correlation between thinking and being, and we're not a great deal better. And whilst that's not a problem if what's real and what's true need only be similar in outline, the more detailed a speculative and incomplete map, the more mistakes it's likely to generate. Correspondence in detail, then, is unreliable. Defining truth in terms of correspondence thus leads to a dilemma. Either it's too weak, allowing for truth without correspondence to reality, or it's unreliable, allowing falsehoods to pass as truths. It's issues of this sort, along with others arising from deflation, that inform my preference for the more esoteric, semantic, axiomatic theory. It's not, I assure you, that I think I'm too special or different to hang out with the normal kids. Thank you for listening.